Hi, I'm Shane with eTower.com. Today I'm going to be going over the best hitch options for your 2013 Honda Civic. Right off the bat, between these three hitches, we're going to have the Kurt on top, draw tight here, and eco hitch on the bottom. In my opinion, I think the eco hitch is going to be the way to go out of these three. You're going to notice a big difference here. The eco hitch is going to have a two inch by two inch receiver tube opening, where our draw tight and our Kurt are only going to have an inch and a quarter. With the Eco Hitch having a two inch by two inch receiver tube opening, it's gonna give you a lot more options for hitch mounted accessories, where the Kurt and the draw tight are only gonna be limited to hitch mount accessories with an inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter receiver. You'll notice the paint difference. Uh, our Eco Hitch is gonna have kind of a dimpled powder coat finish. Draw tight is going to have a uh, semi gloss black powder coat finish, and then our Kurt is going to have a gloss powder, powder coat finish. These two, you're going to see the cross tubes when they're on the vehicle. The Eco Hitch, the cross tube is going to be hidden up behind the bumper fascia, so the only thing we're going to see is going to be our receiver tube. So aesthetically, it's going to maintain a much better look on the back of the vehicle than the other two, again, in my opinion. You'll also notice with our Eco Hitch, we're going to have a reinforced collar. It's going to give us a little extra stability when we have any of those hitch mount accessories in there. If we come up to our Kurt, our Kurt is also going to have that reinforced collar. Our draw tight is not going to have that. So between these two, I would go with the Kurt. Because of the reinforced collar, I think it gives it a much cleaner look, a much more finished look over the draw tight. Let's go into our safety chain loops. You notice on our Kurt, it's going to be a plate style. Our safety chain loops are kind of small, but they will accommodate uh, good sized safety chain hooks. If we come down to our draw tight, we're going to have rolled steel style. Very large openings, it's going to give us plenty of room for different size hooks. If we come down to our eco hitch, again we're going to have plate style, and we're going to have large openings. Again, it's going to give us plenty of room for those different size hooks. For our hitch pin holes. Draw type, with it being a two inch by two inch, we're gonna have a five eight inch hitch pin hole. Our Kurt and our draw type are gonna have half inch hitch pin holes. None of these hitches are gonna come with the hitch or the hitch pin and clip, but you can find those here at eachr.com. Now, as far as our weight capacities go, our Kurt and our draw type are gonna have a 200 pound max tongue weight. Our eco hitch is gonna have a 300 pound max tongue weight, which is gonna give us a little bit of advantage there. All three are gonna have a 2,000 pound gross trailer weight. With our tongue weight, it's gonna be the downward pressure on the inside of the receiver tube. So if you're putting cargo carriers or bike racks on, you wanna make sure you're not exceeding that. With our trailer weight, it's gonna be how much the hitch can pull. It's gonna be the trailer plus the load included. Each one of these hitches are going to mount very similar. So we're going to mount to existing holes in the frame, so we're not going to have to worry about drilling any extra holes. In my professional opinion, out of these three, I would go with the Eco Hitch because of the tongue weight, because the cross tube is hidden behind the bumper fascia, and because it's going to give you more options for hitch mount accessories.